choosing a career path can be daunting. The key is just knowing what's out there, like farming. You might think you know farming, it's what feeds you, it's all across Victoria, but do you really know it? Let me introduce you. Willandra Farm in Clydebank is a certified organic producer of milk. The farm is working with nature to produce milk and aiming to be a certified carbon neutral farm by 2025. It's a great example of agriculture complementing and supporting the natural environment. Some would describe our style of farming as regenerative. It's about getting more life on the farm, particularly in the soil and more life in the paddock. So more diversity of plants, more trees, more shrubs, more wildlife. When you're certified organic, it means at least 95% of the cow's diet must be organic feed. So for us, that's generally the feed that we grow on the farm. All of our paddocks are multi-species pastures, so we've got a mix of grasses. We farm very naturally. It's based on soil health, so we're feeding the microbes in the soil and generally trying to support the soil. So don't overgraze, try not to cultivate, try not to have bare ground, because you're much more likely to get erosion and the soil gets very hot, so you're likely to kill the microbes that are in the soil. Our average annual rainfall is about 600 mils, so we are very reliant on irrigation. The irrigation water comes from two bores in the Avon River and that water is pumped into a big dam, generally using solar power. We now have 200 kilowatts of solar power and four small wind turbines and they generate the power to pump the water for the irrigation. The cost of power for irrigation went down from about $80,000 to $1,200. This farm is about 870 acres and we're milking about 375 at the moment. The cow collars are becoming common on quite a lot of farms because they record the cow's activity during the day. So we've got cow 7023 here and it tells me she's been milking for 161 days and she should hopefully be in calf. I can see her activity and that all looks pretty normal. There's a lot of herds using this technology now because it saves us a lot of time and it's very accurate. As farmers get older and we're not up to date with technology, we need the young people working with us to help us integrate uh, the technology into the farming business. So for example, Tia who works with us is using this app called Field Margin and she's mapping the paddock fences for us. This is the app called Field Margin. We haven't done a whole lot of paddocks yet because it's only fairly new to us, but all of these grey sections up here are our recently made paddocks on our new laneway. And you can do this in the paddock as well if you want to drive around on a motorbike and map out each fence post, but Google Earth has already actually provided a satellite for this paddock. We do employ more staff than the average sort of family size farm but it's because we do so much of the work ourselves. The people who work for us, I think, get a really good variety of experiences. It's very enjoyable, doing lots of different things every day and uh, get to work outside. I always knew that I wanted to work outside. I also think it's really rewarding watching the calves that you rear grow up. There's a lot of variety on the farm and it's not all about manual labour. Like, there's so much technology that we use. So we need people with a lot of different skills. So we do need to be showing what we do on farms and how interesting and rewarding this work is.